They've been bouncing up and down on the terraces to that one, haven't they, out here in France? The Barry Horns, this is Wales. You are with Radio Wales Sport through till nine. Uh, we're talking about last night's stunning win for Wales over Russia. Uh, how that performance, how the result ranks in terms of all-time great performances and uh, indeed on what happens next. Who Wales are likely to play at the Parc de Princes in Paris on Friday? Saturday nearly said Friday then for a second definitely Saturday make a date for that I think it's going to be a very quiet Wales isn't it back home on Saturday afternoon so we've spoken to Warren Feeney a few moments ago the Newport County manager former Northern Ireland striker as well because of course Wales could play Northern Ireland there's a chance they could play Albania as well another small nation punching above its weight perhaps at their first european championships let's uh, look a little bit about a uh, little look a bit uh, on albania and exactly uh, what they're all about we're joined by daniel nicola who's an albanian football blogger uh, daniel good evening good evening ian welcome to the program um albania as we say it's a similar story. I mean, you know, this is their first ever European Championships. Uh, they must they must have enjoyed the experience. I mean, yeah, it's the first time ever we get qualified. We've won a Balkans Cup against Romania, Yugoslavia at the time, and Bulgaria. But then this is way bigger. And, like, this is the, the point where everyone gets to know more about us. So, I mean, all of us are enjoying it. I think everyone has kind of get to know our fans in there as well as the footballers. We've got some really kind of exciting footballers for the future, which are really playing well in, in the Euro Cup, as well as the Welsh players and, and the North, Northern Ireland ones. So, yeah, it's been really amazing. We're just hoping that Turkey is going to get this win just 1-0 tonight, and then we should be through. <laughs> yeah, Turkey leading the Czech Republic as it stands, because Turkey's goal difference is inferior to Albania's, and that could get you yeah. through. Yeah, they are minus... Um, three, I think, at the moment. We are minus two, so them winning one zero is perfect. Even a draw, it's even better, but then it's, it's still um, around 50 minutes to be played, so fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, well, Albanians keeping their fingers crossed that, uh, that Turkey win that game. And in, in terms of Group A, obviously France and Switzerland going through, first and second, respectively. Uh, Al- Albania, though, finishing third above Romania. Have they exceeded expectations, do you think? Um, I think, like, it depends, different perspectives, but from, from our perspective, from the Albanian fans one, we beat France during the qualifications groups, even though they played friendly matches with all the teams. We beat them in Albania and then we drew with them in France, so we'd, we would expect something to be quite similar, like result, result-wise. And then with Romania, last time we beat them, we won the Balkans Cup, so like, I'm not saying we're going to win the European Cup now, but it's like a great thing that happened after like 50 years, we beat them again. Whereas with Switzerland, it was... A, a really special match. There were two brothers playing for um, each side. There were a lot of Albanians being born in Switzerland playing for us and many kind of uh, players representing Switzerland that were because of an Albanian born. So it was a really special match. And Phil Blanche, you remember Wales coming up against Albania, I think, in the, in the 90s, wasn't it? Yes, uh, we haven't seen a lot of Albania over the years, but I think we played them in uh, Euro 96 qualifying, and I certainly uh, remember the, the home game, because uh, uh, I was at that one, covering that game, and uh, we won 2-0. It was quite a nice little story there, because Chris Coleman was among the goal scorers that night. Uh, so I'm sure he'll be asked about his memories of that if we do end up playing Albania. And I think we drew 1-1 out in uh, Tirana with uh, Mark Pembridge on uh, on target. So uh, we haven't got a bad record against Albania. <laughs> it's not, it's, not, it's not, too, uh, not too bad at all, is it, as it goes? Um, Gwen, and I mean, they say beware the underdog, don't they? And if Albania do get through, they will be the underdogs in the last 16, won't they? Yeah, they will. And it'll be uh, different for us, you know, because we've basically being the underdogs so will be different for us to, to how we manage that pressure but as I said I mean it's just brilliant that we're in this situation and whoever comes along comes along and I'm sure Coleman will prepare the side as well he, as he can do you know he's got great support there in the, in the staff and um, hopefully we'll get the result Daniel how would how would Albania feel about playing Wales given how well they played last night um, well, um, considering we had two really strong teams in the group, I think the, the confidence has, has boosted this higher now and the players are just waiting for the match. But then playing against Wales, I think the main threat would obviously be Gareth Bale and Aaron Ramsey, even though I think the main threat of Wales as well as, as, well as Albania is the, the team group, like the, the teamwork that everyone does. And there are players relatively kind of unknown still in Europe, but um, there are players that can make the difference. 
So I think we'll feel that we've got really good chances as well as Wales fans. And um, I guess it will be just two sides, both of them confident. We might be defending a bit more because obviously of like feeling a bit worried about um, Gareth Bale and the other players. But I think counter attacks, really good defensive line that we've got at the moment, that, that should do the work really. OK, well, we might well see you in Paris. We shall see. Thank you very much. Daniel at Nicola, who's an Albanian football uh, blogger. I just want to ask uh, both of you, I mean, we've been saying, you know, where does this rank, Phil? I mean, in terms of the great Welsh performances and results of all time. We had John Hartson on earlier on saying he thought, in his opinion, this was the best result he's seen or played in. What do you think? Um, yeah, quite possibly. I mean, my mind goes back to the Belgium game. I mean, they're obviously a better team than Russia. 